Hey everybody, it's your girl Red African and welcome back to my channel. So nice to see you guys again and today I got you guys with the piercing back video. I really wanted to do this video but I've been pushing it off and holding off on it. But I think I pretty much got all the piercings that I want and I don't think I want any more. But I'll update you guys on that if I do. So let's just go ahead and just jump right in into this video just so it's not too lengthy. Um, hmm, okay. Where should we start? Well, first off, I have eight piercings, all right? I have my nose piercing. I have my second lobe. I don't have, oh, I do have a ring in there, yeah. Um, I have my second lobe. I have my conch, which is this right here. I also have my rook. And then I have my tragus. And then also my dace. And then as well as if you haven't noticed my nipples as well so yes eight piercings in total I used to have my forward helix I'll insert a picture of what that looks like um, but it just didn't work out and I'll go into more details on why okay so I'm just gonna go down the list of all my piercings I have and just rate its pain and healing and all that good stuff um, so the first one is the rook Honestly, the rook, I would have to say it was like a six, maybe five, six. I honestly have a high pain tolerance, but honestly, I barely remember the pain. But <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that painful, to be honest. Um, and honestly, that was my favorite piercing because I felt like it was so cool, different, unique. And not, me not many people want to go get that that I know of um, in my area and stuff. So I really wanted it so bad and I was really glad that I was able to get it. The thing with the, my rook though, I feel like it took forever to heal only because I feel like the piercing is maybe the bar wasn't long enough so it didn't have, my skin didn't have enough like air and space to just heal and swell up where if it needs to and then like relax and heal up. So I do still get a little bit of crust but now it's been better, um, definitely much better. And I haven't changed my ring at all. I still have the same ring that they used to pierce it with. I don't know if I'll change it. Maybe if I see something that really catches my eye. But overall, I don't think I'm going to change the ring. I actually like the way um, it looks, honestly. Um, yeah, and literally everything that I used to clean since... Do I still have it? Let me go check. So what I used to clean all my piercings is the H2 Ocean. This is basically the product that most piercers recommend. Honestly, this was my go-to. It did me justice, like it cleaned. And I feel like it also helped the whole healing process as well. You could get this on Amazon. Um, I can't remember the price, but I will insert the link down below so y'all can go ahead and check that out. But this is a great, piercing cleaning spray i know that you can make your own salt water but honestly i don't recommend that just because first your water has to be very like purified and clean and everything like that you can't just use sink water and add salt and clean your piercing nah okay so definitely just just get the h2 ocean it's definitely worth it i bought several bottles during my whole like piercing journey and everything and yeah still have a little bit but i really don't use it because all my piercings are basically healed um, and then as for whenever I get keloids and uh, whenever I feel like the piercing is not healing well, I also was told emu oil was a great oil to use, which looks like this. I think I got, I think I got this from like a, a piercing place online like they have a whole bunch of jewelry on there and then they have like cleaning products as well for your piercings and the ink oil really helped with just removing the keloids like especially on my ear and my nose I barely got keloids on my nose but whenever I did this helped after I'm um, spraying the sea salt and I would use a key q-tip to spray the sea salt on and then just rub it around and I know some piercings be like oh you're not supposed to be doing that and not use don't use cotton or whatever I'm sorry y'all, I did that. It works for me and I'm probably gonna have piercers commenting below like, hey, she's doing this all wrong, blah, blah, blah. But it worked for me, so yeah, I just sprayed 
the cleaning onto the Q-tip and just wiped it around the piercing and everything like that. And then I went ahead and added my emu oil if I had a keloid. I don't be using this on a daily basis. Again, I just use it whenever I have a keloid. And if the keloid is also still, and I also like to mix it with, um, I also like to mix it with a little bit of tea tree oil. And this tea tree oil, I got it from Amazon. I will definitely link this in the description box below. Um, this is 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oil. So you definitely have to dilute this because this is very, very, very strong tea tree oil. So a good thing, another thing that I did would spray the piercing solution, the salt water solution on the Q-tip and add like one drop of the tea tree oil on there and then just do like a double cleaning kind of thing going on. That definitely helped me prevent um, Whenever I had keloids, it would just like literally minimize it. Um, and also, I use that tea tree oil whenever I have like pimples or anything like that, and it helps and it disappears for me. But everyone is different, so you definitely give it a try and see if that works for you. If it doesn't, just stop so you don't worsen the situation. And definitely reach out to your piercer or any piercers that are in your area. I know that my piercers recommend me those products and they worked well. And also with me doing research online, definitely helped. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really it for the cleaning. Um, but yeah, as for the brook, like I said, it was just a little hard to, for the whole healing process because I felt like the bar was probably too small and it needed to be a little bigger so it could have that room to just grow and swell up when need be. Um, was that in English? Anyways, <laughs> the next piercing I did get was the nipple piercing. So first thing first, nipple piercings do not heal at all period nipple skin is always continuously growing that's this is what i've read online and this is also what i've been learning too nipple piercings don't grow at all i mean <laughs> nipple piercings do not heal at all guys so after four years i still get crust on my nipple piercings from time to time um obviously when i'm showering it falls off you know it's clean it's fresh and it's looking cute again it's not looking crusty like it is in the morning and stuff like that um so definitely just make sure you clean it all the time since it's been so long I have stopped cleaning it um, sometimes I clean it whenever I feel like it but it really don't I don't have any problems with my nipple piercings at all um, the pain huh, knowing me because I have a high pain threshold sis that pain was like what I want to give it like an eight it was just very like your nipples are sensitive so then the way the needle just like it was like and I like breathe out, you know, when they tell you to, okay, just get ready to breathe and breathe out. That really helps me to like really push through um, with that nipple piercing. But I would say the pain is an eight, but definitely worth it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, sad thing though is I did lose one of my nipple piercings. My right one is no longer there. So if you guys do see it in my try on haul, like, oh, why one of her nipples look weird? It looks like she has three nipples on one <laughs> boob or something piercing is there and then the other one i just lost it i literally i think it was like what was i doing i think i was cleaning one and then i woke up and the ring was out and pier nipple piercings if the bar is out for even just a couple of minutes that shit is going to close up okay you can't do nothing about it the only thing you, if you really want to get it pierced honestly i heard that you're supposed to let it heal close up um and everything like that and then go get a repierce or maybe is it you quickly go see the piercer as soon as possible but i was just like you know i've had my time with the nipple piercing so i enjoyed it and i was gonna take them i was gonna remove them anyways um especially since i'm getting older and stuff even though i'm only 23 um i wanted to remove them anyways because it was just like a fun young thing i really wanted since i was 18 and yeah i got it and i had some sexy nips okay um but the healing process was so annoying I'm, i might i have to say like in the beginning and i didn't realize i was allergic to nickel um nickel metal you know and when i first got my piercings one of the nipple was like acting up right like um it was itchy it was just and then i had like uh what is it called it was itchy and dry and then I basically had like psoriasis. I feel like that's what it was um, from the nickel metal and that's when I found out I was allergic to it. So 
for me to cure the itch and heal the skin and everything i went back to the piercer they switched it out for a titanium metal which is basically a, a little more expensive metal but it's definitely great for those who are very sensitive to jewelry and cheap jewelry and all that good stuff and then after i switched that i went ahead and bought quarter zone and you can honestly find quarter zone cream at walmart target anywhere like that cvs um, and you just rub it on your nipple and it helps with the itch and it healed my skin because literally <sighs> sis <sighs> my nipple I felt I thought it was gonna fall off right because it was like itchy and it was getting dark and you know when you're scratching it, it it gets dark and everything especially when you have eczema and stuff I don't have eczema but I've seen on my sister like those people who have eczema it gets dark in that area and dry and everything like that so that's basically what my nipples are looking like and I quickly went to go change the ring my babies are fine now don't worry they still look cute and nice so I'm really glad um, nothing worse happened with that and I'm also glad that my piercings didn't reject and started like pushing out because I've seen online how people's nipple piercings when they start to reject your jewelry is literally pushing out of the skin like you will see it slowly 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 coming out and then it will just fall off type thing um so yeah that is my nipple piercing and then i got my second lobe so my second lobe is just basically the second lobe yeah second lobe that yeah just a very simple piercing i had no problems with that lobes are easy peasy no like honestly pain free just because it's just literally skin and it was it was good no worries and then i got my tragus <laughs> which is this one right here um that shit fucking hurt <laughs> and i got that in georgia too um i think i went with my cousin and that hurt okay because the way he did it i don't know maybe the needle i think the gauge for this piercing is a little thicker just like the nipple piercing gauges is thicker so the needle has to be thicker too and that hurt but for the triggers it, it just stung it's, it just it stung a lot um and healing was so annoying because i sleep on this side so definitely what i heard um to prevent you sleeping on your piercings get a neck pillow a neck pillow will definitely help you like um lift up your head off the pillow so it's not adding too much pressure to your freshly new piercing so you don't get a keyload or anything like that so i haven't tried that but definitely that helps um i've heard as a tip but yeah my tragus that's when i got my keloid and i just used the tea tree oil cleaned it every day add a little emu oil just to moisturize it up because so, the tea tree oil can be harsh especially since it's 100 percent um yeah and then i haven't changed any of my piercings i've never changed the ring yet um i'm thinking about it but i don't know honestly i don't i'm fine with how it is the next piercing i got was the forward helix now i don't have that on me anymore just because after i got it it just wasn't healing right and it's just like when i get piercings they like basically fuck with me okay but that one piercing the forward helix i don't know why it wasn't healing correctly so i had to take it off and it was so cute the ring that i got it was like a holographic ball thing and i like the way it looked like i had one of those like double side um sideburn piercing but it was more like up here and then when my cheek is down here it made it look so cool and cute um but yeah i didn't have that for long it, the healing process was terrible so i just took it out and i was just like let me forget about this because nah i am about to stress about this thing so yeah the next piercing i got was my date oh i was so obsessed and really wanted to get this piercing okay so my date is basically oh it's on this one it's this hoop horseshoe ring that you see here and it goes through this cartilage that's inside my ear i love this piercing so much this one fucked for me way harder than all my other piercings like it healed beautifully um i didn't have any problems until my boyfriend hit my head on accident like he like accidentally hit my head and that shit freaking hurt okay if someone hits your head it freaking hurts and look and that shit freaking hurt when he hit my head oh my gosh it was burning and then it also started bleeding because i fresh it's like i just got it so ugh. But after that, when I cleaned it up, it healed beautifully and I was happy and I'm glad it didn't reject and it stayed by my side to this date. Okay, I really love this piercing just because it's so cute and everyone just be like, oh my gosh, does it hurt? Does it hurt? Me, 
pain don't phase me boo pain do not phase me i don't know i'm something else but pain i can like breathe through and push through type thing and i'll be all right so i'm probably not the best person to ask how the pain is um so yeah but honestly just breathing on if you suck at breathing try some yoga because them breathing techniques really really work so yeah that was the next one and then i got my conch i was so pressed to get this one too because i really like how it's just different and it's basically this piercing that goes through my whole ear and this is what the back look like um i hope you guys can see probably just goes through my whole ear and hopefully my ear's not dirty because that'll be mm. <laughs> but it goes through my whole ear and that one stung a little bit just because of course the needle is a little bit thicker the date and the conch and the tragus do i think it's like an 18 gauge i believe 18 yeah and then the 14 um nipples are 14 gauge so the needles the smaller the number the bigger the needle type thing and also the piercing bar um thickness so yeah i really love this piercing this one healed this one actually healed way better than my dave this one was like perfect nothing happened i love it so so much i really want to go get the hoop um around it so it look nice and cute you know whenever I, you know put my hair back um so i really want to do that and that's probably what i will change um honestly and yeah i think that's all the piercings i mean besides my first low piercing which i got when i was a baby um so that's pretty much it for my piercings now as for the pros i just the thing with piercings i choose them over tattoos that's why i kind of went bananas with it because one i got addicted to getting piercings in the beginning i really did um but the thing about piercings i love how you could just take it out whenever um if you feel like you don't want it anymore you're over it you already had your fun with it just take it out that's, it will close right back up um some people it heals properly some people it leaves a scar but I just like how you have the option to just remove it unlike tattoos it's kind of like you really got to make sure this is what you want or you since you're gonna have it for life and i know you could get it lasered removed but you will still see like a scar or whatever type thing so that's one of the pros that i do like about piercings um also they're dainty and cute i like how they just add a little bit more accessory to my whole look even when i'm not wearing a necklace or earrings or anything like that um i just like the way it looks I, I i like it a lot you know and it's also easy to just change the style you know if you want to after it's been healed change the color make it all gold or something like that add some gems i like how it's just very versatile and just e and, and the flexibility is there now with the cons <laughs> The healing process is super annoying you, but you have to be patient. You definitely have to be consistent. And I know everyone hates that word. I hate that word as well in all areas of my life. Consistency is actually freaking annoying. <laughs> definitely with the healing process, um, piercings, you have to, you gotta baby your piercings and take care of it and clean it, making sure you're on top of it so it doesn't turn into a huge scar or a huge issue where you gotta go to go to the er or something okay um another pro another con would be the crust you know especially with the piercing nipple piercings area the crust is a little bit annoying but over time i see that my crust started to become less um so i'm really glad on that and then when i shower it's you know it's gone it's, it's clean keloids are definitely a con i hate keloids they hurt some people can get really 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 bad keloids i didn't have a terrible keloid where it's just still there and it's like not going away um i've seen people's keloids huge like bigger than their lobe and they had to get it cut off and everything like that i'm not trying to scare y'all but it's just something to keep in mind especially with you gotta make sure you clean your piercing make sure you don't hit it especially when it's fresh and new because then it will leave a scar and that scar is basically a keloid and then another con is rejection just like i had with my forward helix honestly can I even say that was a rejection? Maybe I just didn't take the time to just let it do its thing. So I don't know, but definitely I've seen people's piercings being rejected several times and people will try to go back and get it. If it's rejecting, it's rejecting. It doesn't want to be your friend. So just make sure you know your piercing is trying to be your friend. If it's not, just let it go and move on. Find something else that might want to be your friend. <laughs> um, that's pretty much all the pros and cons that I can think of as well as 
um, the cleaning and all that and the tips and advice that I can give you all from my experience of having piercings for years. Um, would I get more? Maybe. Maybe I might get, I definitely want to get my outer conch, which is like, I think, which is like the one that goes through the lobe at the top. I definitely want to get that. Um, I don't know if I really want a cart cartilage piercing, the one that most people get, but maybe I would get another piercing, maybe one or two, but that's it. That's it. Um, I definitely don't want to get my pierce my nipples done again. Um, that was for fun. I really do like the way it looks. I do. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't think I want to get it done because I heard the second time you get it pierced, it hurts ten times more. Okay. And I'm not trying to go through that pain. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you guys have any more questions about piercings. I definitely will respond. I always respond to all my comments, majority of them on all over my YouTube videos. So definitely comment in the comment box below. If you have a question, if you want to say something, you want to say hi, whatever, hit me up there. I'll see your message. I'll see it there. That's pretty much it for this video. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.